welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new episode and welcome my friends to a loot spending spree like you have never seen before. I don't know why I'm laughing guys, I've got this horrible cold and it just makes me smile, so yeah, thumbs up for that. But basically, check this out, top right hand side of the screen you can see 10 million gold, 9.7 million elixir. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go into the treasury and we're literally just going to fill up that elixir, 198 gems and that's going to give me 10 million elixir. 10 million gold but of course if i go back into the shop you can see the lunar new year value pack three times value so what we're going to be doing in this episode we're going to be basically spending loads of this loot and to start this off we're going to grab ourselves the lunar package so let's go so there we go we've just purchased that guys is it going to go through fingers crossed yes it is we are all set and that's going to give me 18 million gold and elixir. What is going on, guys? That is such a large amount of loot. And we also got two and a half thousand gems, so not bad at all. Now, uh, if you want the Lunar package, go down below in that comment section and comment hashtag give it to me, Tony. Comment hashtag give it to me, Tony. We're going to pick one random person and give you a $20 gift card, guys. So go down below. And uh, I'm just literally going to scroll through those comments randomly on the next episode. And uh, close my eyes and pick a random comment. Hashtag give it to me, Tony. Don't forget, guys, we are doing a, uh, what is it, a 1.3 million subscriber giveaway. And that is going to be for $250. If you want the chance to win part of that, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. That is it. As soon as we reach 1.3 million subs, we're going to give away $250. So 18 million gold, 18 million elixir, and we've also got 7.5k gems. What can we spend this on? Okay, so basically if we go here, go edit layout, go remove all. For anyone that's new to the channel, this is what we have. 113 level 10 walls, 167 level 11 walls, and 20 level 12 walls. So we got 30 of those to upgrade, which is going to cost a lot. We have 113 of those to upgrade, and then it's all max, and that's pretty much it. Now if we take a look at defenses, guys, every single defense is maxed out. We do have to upgrade these two barracks, and we're actually going to do that in this episode, I believe. So this is going to be like a gem spree, and it's also going to be a loot spending spree. It's just going to be one hell of a video. So we're going to upgrade those. We do have maxed out defenses. I don't think there is a single defense. We've also maxed out the, um, the new level to the clan castle. We do need to upgrade the barbarian king. He is the, uh, he is the final hero to upgrade. And apart from that, guys, now it's time to get into the interesting part. So... I think we're going to be upgrading some of these in this video. Instead of doing the walls, because they're a little bit boring, we actually have loads of these traps to upgrade. And the only trap we've actually maxed out, I think, are the spring traps. But we're going to check that. And uh, I think we've also maxed out the skeleton traps. I don't even know if you can upgrade them. But we'll check now. So let's just remove this. And uh, let's see, guys. So if we go over here, 18 million gold, 18 million elixir. Let's see. So... Can we upgrade these? Yes, we can. Okay, so we can upgrade the little bombs. Every single one is only level 5. So we can upgrade every single one of them. We can upgrade the air bombs. No, we can't. That one is actually maxed out. We can upgrade every single giant bomb. I know that for a fact. We haven't maxed out any of them. We cannot upgrade the skeleton traps because they cannot be upgraded. We cannot upgrade the, uh, the spring traps because they are maxed out. And we can also upgrade ourselves the air mines, which are insanely expensive. 4 million gold. For an air mine, wow. But you know what guys, we don't get this gold this often, so we may as well actually upgrade these air mines. Let's do it. So we're going to spend the first 4 million on an air mine. That's going to take 3 days, and uh, that my friend is going to max level, and so is that one. So 8 million gold gone, and we've got 2 maxed out air mines. Now there's actually quite a lot of them inside of the base, I'm not sure how many we have. Every one of them is currently level... What are they? They are level 2. So we're going to hold back for a second. Let's check these big bombs. I'd rather upgrade the big bombs because most people use ground troops rather than air attacks. So let's check this out. 2.5 million and it's a lot cheaper. Let's upgrade two big bombs. We're going to do one from that side. And we're going to do one from this side. That's going to cost me another 5 million gold pretty much. So now we've only got 5 million gold left. Now we can actually finally collect that because that's been sitting there for a while. And uh, let's check out what, uh, what else we can upgrade, guys. We can't... Oh, we can do an air bomb. That's going to send that one to max level. You know what? Let's just gem that because I want an actual build of three. So we got level four air bomb, level four air bomb, level four air bomb. All air bombs need to be maxed out. We're going to do that right now. Level four air bomb. And I think that's it. Four air bombs all maxed out. We have 
five giant big bombs. This one is actually maxed out, so that's cool. That one's level three, and that one is level three, so we can upgrade them. Now, we still have 3.5 million gold, but it's time to spend the elixir now. 18 million elixir. If I go there, it says there's 2 million inside of there. Does that mean there is, uh, how much inside of the town hall? 7.1 million in the town hall. So that is, uh, sorry, 2 million in the town hall. I was looking at the, um, the rest of the gold. So let's do this. 18 million elixir. Let's actually just upgrade some of these walls, guys. So, so far we have got, how many did I say? We have 113 to go. Let's see if we can get it to 100 by the end of tomorrow. So, here we go. That's going to be one. That's going to be two. We actually missed one there. That's going to be number three. This is some insane spending. That's going to be number four. That, my friend, is going to be number... Oh, we missed one again. That's going to be number five because we are only going to do five of them. I don't want to spend the rest. That's going to take me below three million, which is going to take me to zero. And if we have zero elixir, I can't actually build any armies. So can you believe it, guys? You can actually spend so much gold, so much elixir, so quickly, and it just costs and takes so long to farm up. So it is pretty damn insane what this game does to you. So, so far we have spent, what is it, 15 million gold, 15 million elixir. We can actually upgrade another one of these walls, guys. Let's do it with the gold, because that's going to leave me with 700,000 gold, which is actually enough. I don't really need more than that. And uh, we are inside of a witch event, guys, and I've actually got a witch army ready to go from earlier on. If you didn't check out the first episode of the day, please feel free to go and check that out. But we still got 7.5k gems, and I'm not sure what we should do. So basically... There is going to be a gemming episode either today or tomorrow. I was going to do it in this video, but I think I'm going to save it for an extra episode because I do want to do the witch event before we actually do it. And I was kind of thinking to just go ahead and gem our Barbarian King to max level. You know, just have a little bit of fun in the game. You guys want to see it. I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't mind having two max level 45 heroes. And uh, that will pretty much be the heroes completed and they're not long left to go. And you know what I just realized? We didn't upgrade our barracks, so... Hold on a second. Two of them are level 12. And then the other two on the other side are only level 11. They're going to cost 4 million elixir each. Okay, we're just going to completely leave them. Let's see if we can get ourselves into a live attack. If I can grab a million elixir in one attack, we'll upgrade one of those barracks. If we can't, then we're going to leave them for another episode, guys. So check it out. Searching for opponents. Should we hit the first base we land on or should we not? Let's let's do it. Here we go. Yes, 3.6 or 360,000. Uh, elixir, not bad. Plus, we've also grabbed ourselves some uh, some decent dark elixir. This is actually looking pretty cool. So we got a jump spell. We do have some wall breakers, and we're going to be attacking from this side of the base here. So we're going to drop in every single one of the wall breakers, open the base up, and now we are ready to penetrate. So let's do this. There goes a giant and a bowler, and we're going to do the exact same on this side here. There goes a bowler, a wizard, and a giant, and that should make a nice funnel. Come on, bowler, you can do it. There it is. And that is the money shot. So, let's do this, guys. Here we go. Gonna drop in the jump spell. Now, we're hoping to get this into the actual Inferno Tower part as well. So, let's do that. Is it gonna work? Yes, it is. That should allow us entry into the Inferno Tower. And uh, here we go. Hero's gonna go down. Barbarian King. Bowlers. Please, everything, go into the center. There go the four witches. We took out that builder so there was lucky. And there go the four healers. So, this is it, my friends. This is where it's gonna get interesting. First raid spell gonna go down. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability really early because I want to try and keep these troops alive to see if we can really tear this base into pieces. So here we go. Second Rage Spell going to go down. We've still got the Freeze Spell and we're going to drop it right now on that Inferno Tower. It's going to grab one of the Teslas, so that's cool. Here we go. Can we take out that second Tesla? Going to drop down another Rage Spell. We need the Witches to jump into that Inferno Tower. It's obviously not going to happen because we don't even have a jump spell. We've only grabbed a 2-star so far. This base needs to get taken out, guys. We need the 3-star. So we still got the Barbarian King and the Healers. Well, we had the Healers. Now they're getting destroyed. We've got the Queen who's getting taken out by something over on this side. I'm not sure what. She needs to actually take down this Inferno Tower. It's going to be... I was going to say it's going to be all down to the Queen. There goes the King's ability. There goes the Queen's ability. Two heroes popped at the exact same time. Uh, we've got the 100% loot bonus. There goes the Inferno Tower. That's going to fall. At least the Queen should take out this Elixir Storage before she dies. And that's going to grab me pretty much every penny of loot, guys. So it doesn't really matter if we didn't three-star. To be honest with you, the attack strategy completely sucks. The only reason why I had witches or a small amount of witches inside of the actual army 
was quite simply because it is the witch event and we are trying to complete this. And that's going to take me to 3.5 million elixir. Which is good because it means I think we can actually upgrade another one of these walls. So hold on a second guys. Let's go into our events page. Still got one day in 14 hours so that's cool. What we're going to do. We're going to quick train ourselves two of these armies. But we're actually going to go into the second army. We're going to remove the, uh, the Valkyries completely pretty much. And we're going to bring four witches instead. That should allow me to do a little bit more damage and an extra Valkyrie. Um, hopefully that's going to be the second witch event covered. So now we can actually upgrade one of these walls, guys. Check it out. 3 million elixir remaining. Now we got 60,000. But that's going to give me another one of those walls. And that's going to take me to a total of 174 level 11 walls. 106 level 10 walls. And only 20 level 12 walls. But pretty much that's decent, guys. Considering I was one of the most rushed YouTubers in the world a year ago. We've actually recovered this base. And do you know what it's down to? Completely hard work. Now I'm only joking, guys. It's because I've spent absurd amounts of money on the game. So we are actually going to gem ourselves these uh, these barracks, boost the spell factories, and do all that kind of stuff. And as I said, stay tuned. There will be another video coming. Comment a hashtag. Give it to me, Tony, down below. Inside of the next video, we're going to pick one person to win that Lunar package. And uh, good luck to every single one of you. It's literally going to be like a pick and mix. So leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you very shortly, guys. Peace out.